so like guys like i said in the next two or three videos you will understand exactly what i'm trying to do but generally what we're trying to do is to generate a referral url uh, for this user or for this ref so the whole idea is that a user logs in and they, have, they are able to generate several referral urls even though they have a default one so when they log in we give them a default one then they can generate the rest you understand okay so that they can track how many people are coming in uh, or using their re referral urls so now we've created this referral url it doesn't exist even though it doesn't look uh, perfectly okay to me it needs to have another um let's see you need to have the user name first all right it needs to have the current user so the current user is um, obtainable here user that in laravel this is how you get the details of the currently logged in user all right oops what did i just do Control z All right, so we are basically saying ref slash the current user's ID slash this ref ID. So let's go and build this URL. We have to go to routes and create a URL for ref. I think it should be plural. I'm just trying to make it com um, consistent. So we come here and create a new URL. We'll call it route. It's a get request. And then refs. Remember the refs will now have um slash user id the user id is compulsory but then the next item is not compulsory for instance the next item is the ref category ref category id then because it's not compulsory we we'll put a question mark there and then we'll put comma we'll put um we're going to mention the the controller the controller is ref category controller i'm lazy i don't like that thing ref category controller and the the method we're going to there is i think i should just call it ref method refs method we've not created the method yet so we have to put a name for this it's optional to put a name but i'm just going to call it refs dot user close all right so we've created this url if we now refresh that error should disappear this error should disappear like this um refs one one not found okay because so that error is there because of two reasons so number one is that uh, we're calling this refs.user but when we made reference to it we called it refs in the table where is the table i'm trying to open it yeah here we called it refs okay so but um we should do something like this refs and then um i'm gonna do this and then we'll put comma put this and do um user id you know underscore id is this so um this is user id now put comma uh, ref underscore ref underscore category underscore id is this one so i'm gonna delete all this all the way back so i'll try to pull this to the right so you can see what i'm doing ref underscore id is this okay so uh, now we have something that looks like it um, let's refresh yes sure one last error it says refs not defined the reason it's not defined is because here we're giving the name as refs.user so we have two options is either we come here and make the url to be refs.user is either we come here and do it this way or we remove this dot user and come here and um, in the name and remove the dot user so i'm gonna leave it that way refresh so if we refresh we now see something very interesting guess what um there is this thing which says um uh, this is your facebook referral and guess what you now have a url 
if you give someone this URL, when they when they sign up on our site using this URL, it will be counted on under your Facebook invitees or referrals. You get um, if you use this other one, it will be counted under your Twitter. If you use this other one, it will be counted under your Instagram. Now the concept is that um, you can generate unlimited so that you can track for different uh, campaigns. Let's say you want to do run Facebook ads, you can create your Facebook ads here, generate the URL. And use it there then, then you can come log into this platform and see how many people are coming in through your Facebook platform now ultimately another thing we can do is to put a redirect so people hit this platform first then they you can put a redirect URL where they will have to redirect after um, hitting on this platform all right so um, that's pretty simple but that will be in the next video